Hello, I'm Bradley and welcome to my channel. First things first, if you're new here, please subscribe. You don't have to, of course, but it would really help me out in where I'm trying to get my channel to be. Okay, so today we are talking men's hair care and we are talking uh, bedhead for men, T-I-G. Eye. So shampoo and conditioner, we're looking at this uh, system here. It is a really, really great system. It's not a new product, but it's new to where I usually purchase my products from. Um, and I've seen this, and I do think the formula has changed. In fact, I'm pretty sure about 98% certain that the formula has changed. Um, and this is probably why they're selling it now in stores. I bought mine from Boots here in the UK, £8 each. Um, and they are different sizes. So the shampoo is called Dense Up Style Building Shampoo, 250 mils, and that's eight pounds. And then you've got the conditioner, uh, Clean Up, 200 mils. Now, originally when I tried this, and I tried this a couple of years ago, um, and I actually thought it had been discontinued until I went into my uh, local boot store um, probably about three weeks ago now. Um, I purchased it, didn't use it for the first week, um, and then I've used it for the last fortnight on and off. Really been very, very pleased with it. Now, originally, years ago, why I loved this system, okay, the cleanup. Um, sorry, I can't remember if it was cleanup or dense up, but it was one of them. Um, I think it was cleanup. Um, you know, the slogan across the front here. I, I think the dense up is new on the shampoo, but the cleanup, I... Almost certain it was that was on the shampoo and the conditioner, and I really liked the formula because the formula contained saw pimento. Now, what I really liked about any, and I, what I absolutely categorically love about any product which has got saw pimento in, saw pimento is said to potentially inhibit and break down the effect of what the byproduct of testosterone, the DHT, which is the element which causes the male pattern related thinning, so hair loss. So that byproduct um, from uh, from testosterone in the body. Now, if your if your follicles are really overly sensitized to that, the more DHT buildup you've got, then the greater the potential of hair fall, hair thinning, and of course, male pattern related uh, baldness and female pattern related uh, thinning as well. Now, Silver Melto, really, really great, really great product to be able to have in there. Of course, anything which is natural, anything which can potentially stop reverse or help us grow thicker, fuller heads of hair, then amazing. Unfortunately, I can no longer see it in here. Now, I'm not technical, I'm not sort of, um, I'm, I'm not an absolute master in this field at all. I literally just go from my experience and I will be honest, I'm 29 now. I do have a quite a strong wealth of knowledge, I believe. I've been styling my hair very, very, from a very early age. Um, everybody knows me with styled hair and hopefully well styled hair. I've had a lot of hairstyles at the moment, I've got a, I'm rocking a bit of a side part and swoop back 1920s inspired sort of look here. And I've got a top knot with quite a, uh, a bit of hair at the back here as well. I've got fine hair and I've got a lot of it. So I'm very, very interested. I'm very keen um, on the potential of keeping thinning hair at bay for men and women. I'm very, very interested in that. So things like, for example, off the top of my head, salt melto, really great ingredient to be able to get into your, uh, your hair care system. Peppermint oil, another great one as well. Uh, rosemary oil, rosemary extract all of those great things said to be really really helpful um in your your armory of go-to sort of a range of products because sadly there is not just one product which is going to solve it for you um of go-to products which is really really great to have that in there um so i'm really quite disappointed that it's not in here now let's just speak it's not a bad system because it's not got that in here it's just different like everything in life it changes it doesn't stay the same um but of course change is good so i've been using this on and off for about a fortnight now um now, let's start with the shampoo. So this one's called the Dense Up, which I'm almost certain is the new element of it, the Dense Up, because it used to be called, I think, Clean Up on both of them. And we've got on here, Style Building Shampoo. Uh, it's 250 mils. Okay, then we've got Dense Up, Style Building Shampoo. Start styling in the shower for fuller uh, looking hair. You can see and feel, featuring a blend of caffeine, okay, and key vitamins such as biotin and niacin. I think that's a good old one there. I can't ever pronounce. Okay, our uploader technology gives fine hair as much lifted 
uh, much needed lift and control, sorry, without the fluff. Okay, so hair is left looking thick, full and strong to use. Lather into wet hair, massage into the scalp and rinse. So, okay, follow with your favourite bed head for men styling product. So it doesn't actually say you even need to use a conditioner here. I would say use a conditioner because it's really, really good when you have shampooed your hair. Um, I always shampoo my hair twice, number one, to get the product out, and then number two for those ingredients which is in here to really get to work on my hair and my scalp. And of course, very often for men's hair, which lacks density, lacks volume, uh, lacks that thickness if you've got fine hair, particularly if you've got thinning hair, or even if you've got um, real major hair loss, but yet you don't necessarily want to commit to using something, perhaps you're pretty happy, but yet you just want to add a bit of bulk, add a bit of thickness to your hair, then this is going to be great for you. Um, now, in the style up edition here, um, start, sorry, dense up uh, edition of the shampoo here, because um, I have had a look, and on Amazon you can still purchase some of the old formulations of this, so just be a bit careful. Um, but I mean, unless the ingredient list is changed in how they uh, in how they describe salt melt, I don't think it has, um, but I can't see it in there at all. But I can see biotin, which is great for adding bulk, which is often found in shampoos for women, actually, who have got fine hair or who want or for uh, wanting much more uh, volume, much more uh, thicker feeling hair to help you style your hair a lot more easier. So biotin is really, really great to elope the hair um, and really add that bulk, which often fine hair lacks. Now, caffeine, I always say, is... Uh, there are, of course, caffeine shampoos out there for men, which we know are are told and sold to us and advertised to us that they will cure hair loss if you use them. Now, I don't believe that a caffeine shampoo can do that. In fact, we know that. Um, but I do believe that it is a good, strong tool to keep your scalp, your optimum hair uh, growth environment, uh, healthy, strong, and energized. So for me, a caffeine-based product and shampoo is much more of a preventative measure and tool. So the minute you're starting to notice, hmm, there's a bit of change going on here, or a little bit more hair in your hands, but yet you're not yet seeing any in the mirror at all or anything like that, then you want to start using a caffeine shampoo because that's going to be another tool to your armory of go-to products to be able to keep your hair as thick and full as possible. So this is really, really great. The Dense Up shampoo I love. It's got a real nice sort of fresh fragrance it's not as strong as the conditioner because in the conditioner you've got the peppermint in here and i don't believe you've got that in the shampoo because it certainly doesn't come across when you use it but it is a very much of a fresh uh sort of an outdoor smell i would say very very pleasant very masculine uh it's a it's a great fragrance um almost like a faint aftershave type smell it is really really nice it lovers really great you don't need a lot of it at all it looks after the scalp it looks after the hair it doesn't make you uncomfortable it doesn't make the hair feel dry but i do feel that after using it you do need to use some conditioner and that brings us on nicely to the conditioner so this here you've got 200 mil which is always a bit of a bugbear i find from a system like this because i always use much more conditioner particularly my hair is to my uh, just and just touching my shoulders nearly now so I use a lot more conditioner than I do shampoo, even though I wash my hair twice. Um, and again, once all the product, then the next uh, for the scalp. Um, but the cleanup conditioner. So this I do like. It's really nice and strong. It's really, and I say strong, not strong on the scalp, because it's going to make you agitated, or if you've got a sensitive scalp or sensitive uh, skin or anything at the nape of your neck. Because uh, I often sometimes get that where a product, a skincare product, can agitate me here. But it is really very good. Um, I like this because I leave this on for about 15, 20 minutes because you really feel it's very invigorating. It's very awakening. It's very stimulating. It's really, really nice. Um, so it's got the peppermint conditioner cleanup. So you've got the dense up here of the caffeine and the biotin. And then you've got the cleanup um, and adding that freshness, that zing. And it really does kind of, it's quite awakening on the scalp first thing in the mornings when I start work at six o'clock. So I'm in the bathroom extremely, extremely early, sorting out my hair and everything like that. And um, this is really nice first thing in the morning as well. I'll just read you what it says on the back here. So clean up peppermint conditioner. Okay, so who? Guys who want healthy looking hair and scalp, what conditions and strengthens hair while stimulating scalp? Um, when, so after using the clean up shampoo, now, see, when I bought this, and this is when I get a bit mixed up because I couldn't find the coordinating shampoo conditioner. Perhaps there is. Somebody please correct me if I've got this wrong. Because I bought the Dense Up shampoo and there was not Dense Up conditioner. And it wasn't like that all the products had gone. It was a full shelf. It was a full stacked shelf. Um, and I couldn't find a clean up shampoo. So perhaps I've got one from one system, one from the other. But either way, they're good products. They really are. I have to admit, I think the old formula had the had the sort of 
had the winning goal for me, I have to admit, but I do still like these, and I would buy these again, I really, really would. They're great, they're convenient, they work, they're effective, they deliver, ultimately. So conditioner here, and then let's read you a little bit more. So, why? This conditioner with ginseng root extract, proteins, and uh, peppermint scent invigorates, and it's not just a scent, by the way, it is actually in here too, invigorates the scalp and helps to protect the hair from uh, future damage and breakage. So, in the ingredients here, I can see uh, we have got menthol in here, we have got want to improve the, the yeah, peppermint uh, leaf extract is in here, and we've got hydrogenized wheat protein in here as well, which very often you will find in uh, fine hair uh, conditioners uh, because that ultimately adds bulk to the hair as well. That's a very common ingredient in shampoos for men, uh, conditioners, sorry, for men and women for fine hair and for adding volume. So this is really very great. It's a great system. I think for eight pounds each, it's an effective price as well. It's really, really good. I would certainly use it again and again and again, to be quite honest with you. I do find my only little bit of a bugbear, I would say, is if you don't leave the conditioner in, it can feel like you've got a little bit of a product if you use too much of the conditioner. So just be cautious on that, because if, if you use a little bit too much, and I can often be um, guilty of getting carried away because my hair is longer, it's on the fine side, and if you use heat, you want to have a little bit more, if it's tied up all the time, then you want to have a little bit more nourishment, use a little bit more conditioner. I do find that it just stayed in my hair a little bit. It may be me, but I found that it just hung around a little bit. So just be careful how much you use of this, because then when I dried my hair, it did feel almost a little bit coarse, soft, but a little bit coarse. Not as soft, um, not as, what am I trying to say there? Um, so coarse, but still soft, but not as soft as I usually enjoy with other products. But I do ultimately, for men's hair, really recommend these. If you've got short hair, absolutely great. My twin brother's used this a couple of times as well, actually. He's got short, spiky hair. Um, very characteristic, lots of it, very thick, much more thicker hair than me. This was great for him, gave him great volume, great lift, and looked really, really cool as well. And I hope you agree, mine, yeah. Really liked it. I think it looks good. Um, really helped me style my hair. Um, and yeah, it gives an extra added bulk to the hair, much more volume to the hair, much more structure, thicker feeling hair. And a well groomed head of hair gives you a bit more confidence and it feels stimulating. It feels invigorating. And yeah, all around really, really good. So I really hope you've enjoyed this clip. I certainly have. Thank you very much for being here indeed. If you have any questions at all for me, please leave them down below and I'll do my utmost best to get back to you as quick as I can. Um, and ultimately really recommend them. And as I say, any comments, questions, please leave them down below and I'll get back to you. Thank you very much for being here. And until next time, I'll be seeing you then. Bye for now. God bless and take great care. See you then. Bye now.